All right, guys, I need a challenger. This is phase two, video number six. Um, so we're talking about our no day right now, so we're talking about, okay? So um, we have the idea and the concept here, okay? So now figuring out what those numbers need to be for our food moving forward, okay? So here, 40%, okay, from um, protein, 45 is gonna be from fat, and 15% is gonna be from our carbs, okay? So once again, no day, carbs being uh, those 15% is going to come from other things, fibrous based deals of that nature, okay? So our main focus in this no day is the fat and the protein intake, okay? So if I go out to eat, if I go anywhere, I'm looking for things that have no starch carbs in them. I'm trying to eliminate breads. I'm trying to, I want to eat each meal. I want it to be a protein item, some fat, and a veggie, okay? Common mistake is a lot of people say, I ate ground turkey and I had vegetables, okay? There's no fat that was added to that. The ground turkey shouldn't be really fatty. You should be eating lean ground turkey. So if you've been eating that food item, okay, for a bit, it's gonna throw you off a little bit because when you go to add stuff to it, like avocados, it's gonna seem like a little more food, okay? So easy solutions, easy way to, if you have to go out to eat and you're forced to eat, you have some options to go with, okay? So 40% of our calories, okay, are gonna be protein-based and 45% of them are going to be fat, and 15% of them are going to be carbohydrate, okay? So all we do is take that BMR. So for me, mine was the 1680. And I'm going to start by taking 1680, and I'm going to take it. I want I want to what 40% of 1680 is. So I just took 0 0.40 times 1680, and I got 672 calories, okay? I did the same thing with 45, 0.45 times 1680, and I got 756 and then I took 15%, so 0.15 times 1680, and I got 252. Now, this is gonna, now we gotta go back to what we talked about when it comes to calories and what we get from each one, okay? So here's a list of kind of some things we've been talking about. One of the pieces we discussed was each gram of protein equals four calories, okay? So my calorie intake here for protein is 672. So what I would do is I would divide this, okay? by four, okay? Now for fat, I would divide that by nine, because remember, one gram of fat equals nine calories. Let's divide that by nine, and then I'm gonna divide my carbs by four, okay? So that's what I'm gonna do there, all right? And it's gonna give me my different grams that I'm gonna have. So 672, do this real fast. Okay. Four, good, and then we got 252, 63, okay. So here is now my macros, okay? So for my protein intake, my fat intake, and for my carb intake. So protein, I'm supposed to eat 168 grams of protein. For my fat, I want to take 84 grams of fat. And for my carbs, I'm going to take in about 63 carbs from other items, um, greens, things like that, fiber-based items. So no starch carbs once again. So that is my no day, okay? So pretty simple there. Write it out a little bit bigger here. So for this person, 168 grams, 84 grams of fat, 63 grams of carbs. So that is this person's no day. Okay. So no day. Okay. Right there. All right. So calculate your no day. See where you're getting the numbers at. Your numbers shouldn't be huge numbers. Okay. Now, what I want to talk about too is these are the numbers and ideas of where we want to be. Now, you're, when you go to eat this food, you're not going to get it exactly that number. Here's a good rule of thumb. If you're within five on your carbs, uh, five on your carbs and on your uh, protein, five grams here or there, either above or below, pretty close, okay? Fat, we want to try to keep it at three to five. Max would be six. If you get above six grams, as we talked about, six grams above is a lot of ca extra calories. Six and nine, okay? It's gonna put you at a, at a higher calorie intake than if you did that a little bit on carbs. So carbs and fat, or carbs and protein, 
we can be a little more off on that fat. Let's try to be a little closer on that so that way we don't have any um, excessive calories um, in our program. All right. So um, one thing that I will say, anytime we get hungry and as you guys start to progress and your metabolism goes up, anytime you do get hungry, a little extra protein is always a benefit. Um, so there's nothing wrong with putting a little extra protein in there uh, based off of the way it uh, causes your body to break down um, protein at the rate that it does to burn calories. Okay. So um, this is video number six. Make sure you check out video number seven. We're going to talk about our um, glorious carb days and we're going to talk about some more stuff there. Okay.